नेक्स्ट वन कम्स फ्रॉम शुभंकर मजूमदार वर्किंग विथ होम मिनिस्ट्री गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया says there are hundreds of self help books published every year telling us how to live in a better way what makes vedantic teachings distinct from those self help books self help books in general want to help the self without investigating into what the self really is so in the name of self help what is usually advised is gratification of the self the self is taken as a fundamental and unchangeable entity not to be questioned and the entire purpose of the book then is to remove the obstacles in the path of gratification of that self that has been turned into a sacred entity so the self has certain desires and the book will tell you how to fulfill all your desires and dreams and you will say yes this is what i want and the book is telling me how to get that thing the book will never or rarely ask you what is it that you want where are your wants coming from are your desires even yours now these are tough questions these are unsettling questions people don't want to go into them because if you go into these questions then your basic identity is challenged okay. your very very sense of existence is then interrogated and we don't like that because it disturbs you see our our disposition is such that we would rather have false security then true exploration of the truth even if we know that we are living in false concepts we would choose that falseness because there is comfort in that we are used to living in a false way since a long time hmm? that central falseness itself is called as the self are you getting it what else is self in self help self obviously cannot pertain to the truth because the truth does not require any help self surely pertains to the ego it is the ego that is always quite helpless and seeking support and help and um, uh, stuff of all kinds so this entity that you are seeking to help is actually not requiring help it is in need of dissolution or you could say that the only way to help it is by calling out its falseness even if you want to help the ego you cannot help the ego by furthering its desires or giving it hope that its dreamt way of life is indeed feasible and beneficial 
that's not the way to help the ego the way to help the ego is to enable it to see the truth which practically means seeing its own falseness uh, that's a that's a difficult thing to do and this thing pleases nobody since this approach pleases nobody or very few people therefore the self help book won't really sell if it takes the right approach but the author surely wants a best seller so he would say those things that the people are you know more amenable to accept and then the book would be uh, selling a million copies are you getting it self help is very very far removed from all spirituality obviously including vedant vedant explores the i to dissolve it whereas self help in general extends and inflates the i and tries to provide it a certain validation you would have realized by now that the process of self help is fundamentally opposed to the spiritual process the spiritual process says what's the point in running after my desires if i do not know myself if i do not know myself then whose desires am i chasing are my desires even my own that's the approach of spirituality the approach of self help i'm repeating is i am sad because my desires have not met fulfillment so the way to help myself is fulfill desires that's a it's a dimensional difference hmm? therefore self help pleases but not helps it is not then self help that genre should be more correctly called self gratification and if you want self gratification as we all do then there are so many means and ways available people entertain themselves people drink people move to narcotics people go high on money on power people look for carnal pleasures these are all ways in which we try to help the self by fulfilling its desires unfortunately these ways don't work so self help is attractive but not beneficial it's great that uh, you are just opposing vedant against self help go to vedant that's where you will find rigorous self inquiry that's where you will find freedom from the sufferings of the self